All right, guys. So I've got this uh, app that I wanted to try. It's called the Tello FPV app, and I'm going to give it a try for the first time. This is a demo app. It's a beta version. You can download it from Play Store. I have the GameSir T1D controller as well. So there's a few different functions I want to try with this one. Let's start the motors. As you can see, I'm controlling it. Well, you can't see it, but I'll turn it around. I'm controlling it with the controller here. All right. So uh, I'll take some recording. Let's see, we we'll go up the top here. Hopefully that's recording. Okay, here we go. So I'm recording now. You're only allowed 20 seconds of recording. And an altitude of two meters in this beta version okay now let me see if I can change those settings because usually you can go into main settings here but yeah it still won't let me I've already changed them before all right, so just go for a bit of a fly around. I can't elevate it higher than the, the amount it is now at two meters. What really interests me is the uh, the return to home function on this. So what you do, you hit that home icon in the top corner, and it does return. It's supposed to return to home. Is it? Let's see. I think it is. Try that again. It did actually return to home when I tried it quickly at home. This is the first time I've tried it outdoors. So what I'll do, I'll turn around again, I'll fly it out a little bit, not as far, and then I'll try it, try press it. It does turn around, it doesn't seem to be coming back, okay, oh, well, never mind. So this app seems to have quite a few different functions. Got all good telemetry here on the bottom of the screen. You got the 86 on the controller, 79 on my phone, and 80 on the Tello itself. I'll take some photos. Let's take a selfie. So I'll change that to the camera mode. There you go. I think you can only take a couple of photos. All right, let's see if I can do any other functions. What's this point of interest? Going towards, let's see if that works. I deactivated something there. Circle, all right, let's try this one. Will it do it? Okay, it looks like it might be limited to doing those functions. Looks like it's trying to do something here. Circle object distance to 5.1 meters. No, it doesn't do it either. All right. So as you can see, you got flight log. Oh, you can't do it while you're flying. Got all these different uh, different bit rates you can change and all sorts of stuff. So it's pretty pretty in depth sort of uh, app here. So just thought I'll try it out.
much better flying with the controller I really like this controller nice and smooth you got that little bird icon in the middle there to show you the uh, the balance of the drone and also this is what I want to show you, you with the top shoulder buttons here these buttons up here you can change the exposure rate so I can make it brighter see that and with the lower button you can change the exposure of these birds flying in the distance So that's another great feature. You can uh, adjust the exposure on the fly. Pretty cool. Um, let me just try this home function one more time because it actually did it. It actually, indoors, it actually flew back towards me. Just doesn't seem to want to be doing it outdoors for some reason. So that's a bit of a pity. Uh, we've got some more icons, these three dots here. Uh, I think that's for flips. What's? Yeah, you, so I can use that one. You can do the flips. That's pretty cool. Left, right, barrel roll. The top icon, front flip. And the bottom one, back flip. What's the 360 do? Okay, the 360 does a 360 pan shot. So as you can see, I've got the 360 icon on. So it does a lot of the features of the uh, the original Tello app plus more. Because like, you know, you can change the exposure. All that sort of stuff. What's this one do? I'm not too sure that one. Oh, that must be the droney shot. I've got to get that off the screen there. So that's a little droney shot. That was pretty cool. Still at 47, 49% battery on the Tello. That's rather neat. And on the top, top of the screen here, we have camera settings there, which I've already set. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it in this beta version, I think. The flags, lock autopilot. Try that one. What's that one do? As I said, you know, I'm just doing this on the fly. I only just tested it out just to see the functionality with the controller indoors and I hit the return to home button. So everything else is, I'm just playing it by ear. Just do a manual surround me mode. Better bring it in closer, otherwise I'm going to get stuck in a tree. So you've got limitations, as I said. This is just a beta version, just to see if you like it. Then you can purchase it. I don't know how much it is exactly to purchase, but I more than likely will be pur purchasing this uh, after you're allowed 10 flights, basically, and then the app becomes non-functional. So. You got 10 flights in that flight log and uh, just to see if you like it and um, yeah then you can purchase it or you can purchase it straight away if you want to. I just wanted to test it out a few times and then I more than likely will purchase it. So is there anything else I could try? Hand catch. I've gone into there, exit that. Oh, I got out of the, <laughs> I got out of the app. I want to do that. All right. So I might just land it, guys.
All right, so still got some good, good flight time out of this. Thirty percent. Pretty sure when I've flown on the Tello app, just a normal stock standard Tello app, I've, I don't get this much flight time. It's almost like this app increases the flight time or something. I don't know. I find that hard to believe, but. It's a really good flyer on the uh, controller there. The more and more I've used this Tello, I've been flying it around a little bit recently. Not taking video footage of it or anything, but just around the house and down at the local park. And I'm really liking it a lot more with this controller, I can tell you that right now. Awesome little quadcopter. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I don't think I can do much else. I just land it in my hand, and that's it. <laughs> so anyway, this is the FP uh, Tello FPV app. You can download it on uh, Play Store for your Android, and you can use it with the controller, the GameSir T1D. It's in the beta stage. Well, this is a demo version. You can buy the full version, and uh, which I, I think I might do right now, actually, when I get home. So, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. It's just a quick uh, demo. I mean, I was just trying it basically properly for the first time, so I thought I'll share it. And uh, it's something to look into uh, if you've got the Rise Tello. So, thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video. Please like, comment and subscribe if you wish to and uh, happy flying. Till then, bye for now.